Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 122, what is self-love? Well, the experts often advise that you just got to love yourself, right? We all heard that. Um, but what is that in practical terms? I was confused for the longest time when I would hear, well, you just got to love yourself. It would drive me batshit crazy when I would hear that for the umpteenth time. What does that mean? Does that mean that I go shopping and buy myself something nice? Does it mean that I go to the salon and get my hair and nails done? What does it mean? I was trying to do all this external pampering stuff as if that's what it means. Wrong. Wrong. To have a healing relationship with another, we must have a healing relationship with ourselves. Let me tell you what self-love means. It's not this external stuff. It's internal. It's an inside job. It's about having healthy boundaries. It's about having compassion for the way that you talk to yourself, healthy self-talk. It's about doing physical and emotional healing and even financial healing in some cases. So we're talking about healthy boundaries. I covered that in the last chapter on dealing with a narcissist, chapter four. The gist of it is basically this. When you're setting healthy boundaries, you have to get into the habitual practice of asking yourself, is this a loving decision for me? Is this an empowering choice for me? How does this decision support me? Before we make decisions where we could potentially make the mistake of putting others ahead of ourselves at our own expense, we must be in the habitual practice of asking ourselves those questions. A narcissist is someone who demands you give up, give up everything in order to be their nothing. Remember, a narcissist is someone who demands that you give up everything in order to be their nothing. So these questions help us to learn to identify the people in our lives who ask us to make self-serving decisions but would never do the same in return. We're not just concerned with self-serving decisions but also self-sacrificing decisions. Personally, it greatly benefited my healing process as I thought back to past scenarios when a narc would try to get me to engage in win-lose dynamics. As I recall those events, I would think to myself, oh my God, I can't even believe that person asked me to do that. I would never even have the audacity to ask anybody to do that for me. And this person had the brass balls to step up and ask me to do that, knowing damn well that they would never, never do the same for me in return. Start identifying these people. But a, a word of caution, this is not about going, you know, to the opposite extreme. The opposite end of the spectrum where there's just total self-focus because that's where the narcissist lives, right? They live in this zone of what's in it for me. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? You know, that's their reality. That's their bubble. This is about learning to apply just as much empathy to yourself, your needs, your desires, if not more. Again, it goes back to balance. And I've been writing about that consistently throughout this book because that's the key ingredient missing from codependent relationships. So I go on in the next chapters to talk about how do you do self-love with a self-talk? How do you practice self-compassion? How do you practice self-love through physical healing and also emotional healing and also financial healing? And so if you want to read more about it, make sure you get the book. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.